Some people wear their heart on their sleeve. Christina Wong wears her title on her ears. I am the overlord of the Auntie Sewing Squad. How that happened? Well, it's quite the story, and one she retells night after night at the Kirk Douglas Theater in her one-woman show, Christina Wong, Sweatshop Overlord. Yes, I am literally protecting the protectors. Hmm, is it hard to relive 504 days of the pandemic? Nah. <laughs> No, it's hard. It's really hard, but it's also kind of cathartic. What started with Christina desperate to do something to help in March of 2020 grew into a movement of some 800 aunties feverishly using scrap materials and bra straps to sew some 350,000 masks that were sent to first responders, underserved communities, migrant workers, and anyone who needed them. Charge! I'm pretty sure I'm not going to meet all of them in my lifetime, but I feel like we met, connected, and supported each other in this very amazing way. The show introduces many of these aunties, sharing their stories and contributions. But the fact is, many of them credit the Auntie Sewing Squad with helping them during the pandemic as much as they helped others. Among the first recruits, Christina's mom, Gwen. And as you can see, her parents also wear their title with pride. You know, while everyone else was all panicky, I was just focused making one mask after another. A handful of aunties recently met at the Center Theater Group costume shop to trade war stories and catch up. This is my post-pandemic joy purchase. Among them, Brenda Valdez, a nurse who got COVID early on. And so I was home and I couldn't work with my colleagues. So the only way I knew how to help my colleagues was to make masks for them. Christina's one woman show stitches together so much of what was happening simultaneously over the past few years. The isolation, the fear, the rise in anti-Asian hate. But her story is also infused with joy and laughter, hope and kindness. And now that the group is retired, the aunties are glad she's telling it. I just want to share that and remember that there was a group that had a lot of Asian American women in it actively trying to fight and protect other Americans. And so for me, that's why I tell this story, to, to, to write it into history. In a way, the show is a gift to the aunties, and it features a gift the aunties gave Christina, a quilt made by roughly 180 sets of hands. For me, like, it, it was sort of a metaphor for our group. We were these disparate pieces that kind of came together to provide care and comfort. At a time when the world felt like it was falling apart at the seams.